All right, guys, I'm back again. My camera stopped. Um, battery went dead. Just charged up my phone. So I'm still going through stuff, guys. Just a little bit of strapping. Uh, it's stuffed. I don't know if you've seen some of the other stuff I've just scored, guys, but anyway, so I found some more strapping. Unsure what this piece of wood is. This here, but that'll definitely have a use for something. So that piece of, is some type of homemade tool. We'll take it. Um, unsure if I showed you these before, guys, but these will definitely come in handy for, uh, they're broken. But basically they're just to stop your truck from rolling back when you're doing an oil change or something like that. I've got a couple of, I've got one really good one at home, a good rubber one, so it does just fit behind the tyres if you've got your truck jacked up or your car jacked up, just to stop the wheels rolling back. But they are still usable, so we'll definitely take them. I don't know what they're called. What else to say, guys? So I found, I might have already shown you this, fellas, but anyway, this is a few more things, some nice old cat's eyes, what I found for my rock retaining wall. A gorilla mask, I don't know, I'll give that to one of my mates. It's a nice piece of brass. Um, some can, a bag full of, a canvas bag full of old canvas bags, so more canvas bags inside the canvas bag. These always come in handy guys, so I'll be definitely using this to store tools, uh, my uh, angle grinders, etc. So a good quality canvas bag, a shower spout, uh, shower spout, the diff sorry, a watering can spout or a spare, definitely come in handy. Shovel handle, um, definitely I could use that, so we'll take that, even though it's got a little cut there, but I might be able to get the actual handle off, just for a spare shovel handle an old two-way radio so we'll take that it's a bit oily but i reckon it's definitely it's definitely uh sought after guys so it's a gm i think a gme electrophone there you are so i don't know what this is guys but we'll take it it's got i'll give it to campbell my farm mate Campbell. Um, so this spotlight, guys, I did a. I, I was filming. I didn't know that my camera died. I actually found this spotlight amongst this thing, and uh, we'll go and test it. I tested it live on video, but then I found out the body camera wasn't even working. So I'll surprise you again. All right. Okay. Okay. Sophie's well, there. Powered up. Okay. So, there you are. So I plugged it in, and look at this. What a good score, guys. A great score. A nice old, probably 1980s plastic type spotlight. I've never seen one like this before, but that is an absolute beautiful score. Spotlight. It has three sides, not four. So, just a really good spotlight for emergencies. These are used by uh, for kangaroo shooting, rabbit shooting. Um, at night time, just shooters, farmers always carry these on their farms, but definitely could come in handy for an emergency or something like that. So that'll end up probably in one of my canvas bags, what I've just scored. A beautiful brand new roll of electrical cord. I'll take that for um, Dale. What else is here, guys? Some boots. These boots are stuffed. I mean, they're still wearable I don't think they're my size but just good emergency boots to carry in the back of the truck they're not my size guys I wear Ariat boots and R.M. Williams boots I don't know what these ones are but they're still capped and I'm not a big fan of steel cap boots like this but they're not my size they're stuffed it's still wearable, just I won't take them. These two water pumps, guys, I don't really uh, like these type of pumps for my scrap because they take up so much room and they're hard to take apart. But I've got a funny feeling this one probably works. 
you know, so we'll take that one for Dale, my farm mate. You know, it looks like it's just still in pretty good condition. The reason I'm going to take it is that spotlight works, so why wouldn't this work? A nice old plastic toolbox. I just scored. I'll clean that up just for storing stuff. An oil lube gun. It might be fixable, I don't know if it, you know, it's probably empty, but... So we'll take it. A tie lever, spanner. What else? Some straps, they definitely come in handy. A couple of straps. Another one. Oh, definitely, this is a nice little find. I'll give that to Dale. An old uh, bake light light switch. It's that little bit there is broken, but this one's still good. Even that one broken one there is fixable. I'll give it to Dale. A little extension cord of some kind. I don't know. A few good things, fellas. So just part two of the video. I oh, will keep looking around, guys. A little bit of uh, aluminium here. Scrap. I'll keep looking. Anyway. And there's a few beer cans over here. Guys, I'll probably pick up the cans and the plastic bottles I'll pick up usually Merrill picks up the cans but I haven't seen it today and uh, what else is up here this is new oh nice definitely like that it's a good score so that's just a good store I'll clean that up guys the lid's probably here somewhere uh, amazing the amount of alcohol I find guys look at that brand new oh, it's, it looks like it's missing a bit but I find heaps of uh, uh, like full bottles of beer and stubbies, cans but I do find beer I take it home guys it comes in handy for making fish batters uh, bread and I give it to mates etc And sometimes if there's ever any uh, fresh scraps, I'll pick up scraps for my chickens. Chicken scraps if it's like nice and fresh. Like here. Just a bag of bread. I won't take that guys, but just a bag of bread. I'll open it up for the crows and the seagulls to eat. You can hear the crows in the distance. Yep, anyway guys, a few good things that we just scored. Toys, so many good toys get thrown out guys. Anyway, fellas, guys and girls, thanks for watching I'll continue going and uh, pack up these finds and then we'll head home and uh, right here a heap of stuff's just been dumped I'll show you this because uh, all these bulker bags thousands of these bulker bags get thrown out fellas, it's such a waste and look at this these are uh, all the beautiful wooden pallets this is uh, lupins for chicken feed or uh, sheep feed. So a big bag of lupins. I don't think my chooks would eat that. But there's nothing wrong with it, guys. I mean, that stuff there's wet or wet there. There's no way you'd feed your animals that. But this stuff there's nothing wrong with. So I might grab a bucket of lupins. So this has actually come from a chicken, a, a livestock feed factory, fellas, where they produce dog biscuits 
uh, sheep feed, sheep, sheep pellets and so much more. Just a livestock factory what produces all uh, feed for, for uh, livestock, chickens, sheep, cattle, pigs, etc. And every uh, couple of days I'll dump a heap of their wastage and all these beautiful pallets and the uh, IBC containers. So these are good quality food, uh, food grade IBC containers, but they're, obviously they're all dented. I have scored some really good IBC containers, like here's a good one right here guys, it's slightly dented, but it's full so it's more or less impossible to move, but I have scored some really good IBC containers, so this one here would be great for just growing vegetables out of, it's, it's a food quality IBC container, and it all gets pushed into landfill fellas, I can't, and this one's full of wheat, grain, if I had two hands, I'd be able to probably move it, possibly. But my truck's fully loaded. We'll see, guys. I'll see, set up my camera and see if I can actually move it. All right, so you'll see a bit of rubbish. That's I'm making a homemade tripod. Right, here goes. So that there is a perfectly good food grade IBC container, guys. The pallet's slightly dented down the bottom, but you know, perfect for even for my scrapping. I could, you know, use that size for filling it up with uh, all my electrical motors, take it up to the city and cash in, or grow veggies out of. So we'll see, we might uh, even put it in the back of my truck. Right now, we'll unload it with the shovel. Always carry shovels in my trailer. It'll take about 15 minutes to unload all this wet grain. And we might be able to squeeze it in the back of my trailer, guys. Um, and I'll probably, probably won't use it. I don't really need it, but I've got a mate who's looking for one. So, but anyway, guys, I might do another video on that. As you can see, so much wastage, plastic, all these uh, bulker bags, what could be reused for storing, you know, cans, uh, aluminium cans, etc. Anything in the good quality uh, bulker bags, we call them bulker bags. Obviously, there's millions of rubbish dumps all around the world, guys, so much wastage. And it all gets buried in landfill. It's an absolute shame to uh, our society, especially Western societies, guys. You know, you go to China, India, etc., and literally everything gets recycled. Everything. You know, there are big dumps, but, you know, people reuse everything. Buckets will be repurposed, uh, cleaned, etc., so that's a huge inspiration to me, the Indian and Chinese scrappers who recycle literally everything. There's no wastage in countries like China and India and a lot of the Asian countries. Everything gets picked up and uh, recycled. Alright fellas, a few good scores. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll load this, all these goodies, and we'll try and uh, maybe do another video of me. Um, emptying that perfectly good um, IBC container but the only thing is I'll have to make room in my trailer to squeeze it all in or I could grab the IBC what, what I also do is I'll hide things like empty that IBC container and I'll 
hide it somewhere like over there in the long grass where no one can see it and I'll pick it up on Sunday. So, alright fellas, some good stuff. We'll load up and uh, maybe we'll grab my shovel. Got a couple of shovels right here in the back corner there and one here. What's missing the actual shovel is right there. Anyway, not a bad profitable day today, guys and girls. More junk to take home. Alright, we'll catch you later. See ya.